Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Easy, the Carolina Grinder Man. Hey, and for tonight's video, we're going to be talking about NBA Youngboy and uh, Quando Rondo affiliate, Lil Tim, man. You know, the internet and the whole world's been a sensation ever since that that November incident, man. So we're going to get into Lil Tim and his situation right now, man. But before we do that, you already know what the deal is. Go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get a drop every time we drop one of these banging videos. And don't forget to follow us on social media as well our instagram and our twitter accounts it'll be down there in the comments or up there in the description either way you want to pick man so you won't miss it that way if you don't get the drop from youtube you'll get it from the social media and you'll stay up to date with this hip-hop content man all right man so let's get into it the whole world knows Lil tim right now he you know quando rondo affiliate man uh he's been holding it down for quando rondo and he's found himself in a little bit of a pickle and uh he's he's just trying to find his way out of it right now man and you know, a lot of people have been seeing him on social media flexing with money, smoking weed, man, and they just feel like he's going to skate free. They feel like, you know, he's just going to beat it because it really don't look like he's worried about the situation, man. We've been seeing Quando Rondo, you know, go on interviews with Angela Yee, man, and basically say it's a self-defense type of situation that they're going for. Um, Quando Rondo said that he felt like, he, he said this out of his own mouth. He said when he felt like King Von hit him that he had an out-of-body experience. So that goes ahead and tells me right there that he felt like his life was in danger. And that's why Lil Tim did what he did. Because there's no question now, it's no speculation. It's all on camera. You know that um, Lil Tim killed King Von, man. I hate to say it. It just is what it is. And um, so, you know, a lot of people has been wondering, man, is Lil Tim going to skate free, man? Or what's going to go down? Because I ain't going to lie, Lil Tim is in a little bad, um, he's in a bad position, man, because he's really got to take the fall for anything. He's, you know, point blank period, he's Quando Rondo shooter, man, and, you know, he's got to protect the bag, man, and that's what position Lil Tim's in right now. He's he's fighting for his life over protecting, you know, Quando Rondo, man. But uh, me personally, man, I think... Uh, I think Lil Tim is going to get some time, man, because for the simple fact, in order to use Luther Force on somebody like that, you really have to feel like your um, self is in danger, man. And i seen some people that's really qualified in that field, man, and they said that in order for that defense to really, really work, man, that uh, Lil Tim and Quando Rondo's attorney them is going to have to really prove that King Von and his entourage, man, really had guns and shit themselves that made Little Tim scared enough to feel like they had to use that type of force. Because basically how they put it, man, and I and I understand this, and this is the same shit I would have said, yo, if I go up and punch somebody, that don't give them the right to shoot me and kill me just because I punched him. Now, if I go up to you and piss the whip you and start hitting you in the ass with a crowbar or something and your life really feels in danger, that's standing your ground. You know what I mean? And that's something totally different. You just can't kill nobody just because they punch you. You get what I'm saying? That ain't the way it is. If that was the case, man, a lot of motherfuckers would be dead right now. I promise you that. But, uh... So, yeah, man, that's my point on, on the situation. I do think Lil Tim's going to get some time. I don't know if it's going to be much time, maybe five, seven years or something like that. But I do think he's going to get some time, man, for the simple fact that he killed King Von. And unless they can really prove it, man, it's going to be really hard to prove that. You get what I'm saying? Just because of the whole situation, King Von and them was just walking up out of the blue. And I don't really think they was brandishing their weapons. I mean, I, I, they, I don't even know if nobody was shooting. I can't even say that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to be putting nobody on the spot like that saying people were shooting because I don't even know. But I just know King Von got killed that night and Lil Tim, the murder suspect. You know what I'm saying? And some people been really wanting to know about this situation. That's the updates that I got on that. Um, but I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way y'all get to drop every time we drop one of these banging videos. And please go like and uh, go follow us on our social media account. And don't forget to like, hit this button, hit that like button, hit that like button. The way we get these likes up and this video start spreading to people. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the situation. Let me know if y'all think Lil Tim's going to get some time or y'all think it's going to skate free. Yo, this is Mike Easy, the Carolina Grinder. We out.